Hi there, today I have an electrifying coach. And while we walk through this coach, I hope to not get electrocuted myself um, because there is a, uh, a thunderstorm nearby. This is not recommended, but this is what you gotta do on a summer day to get things done. Now this is a beautiful 2010 American Heritage. And I have been extremely excited um, to do a video on this because it has so many things going for it. And if you're gonna find a used coach outside of two, three years old, even brand new RVs, the condition of the coach matters. And at this age, it's everything. This has a lot of special things going for it, as mentioned. One of the things is we have a 2018 revised 650 Cummins in the back. So that's right, this has the 650 and there's no sweat because it had a nearly $50,000 new revised 2018 ISX transplanted in the back. And um, we're gonna get to bust open that beautiful red engine compartment back there. But first, we're gonna talk about a green engine compartment. And that green engine compartment um, is the Onan quiet diesel generator up front. So standard setup on this K3 chassis. We have a hydraulic gen slide here. And while that slides out on American coaches, the whole face goes out with that generator. We're gonna talk about the extra parts. This coach comes with a lot of extra parts. Um, the last owner had this bus since about 6,000 miles and it has about 120,000 miles on the clock. So 120,000 miles is just broken in, but on this coach, so much has been replaced, including the engine. Um, this is a coach that is in its prime, like a fighter that's been training a lot um, or a race car team that's been training a lot and building the right car. This coach is in the prime of its life with all of the, the upgrades and the maintenance that's been done to it. But along with this bus, if you purchase it, you get a ton of extra parts, extra belts and um, filters, all that good stuff. And in this compartment on the right, we've got an air chuck here. That's why you have that yellow hose. And um, now that we've got our huge gen slide out, I'm able to show off the 12.5 Onan quiet diesel. Now this coach of course has an automatic gen start system. And um, this generator has about 1300 hours. So barely any hours and um, tip top service. The bus has just recently been full serviced from the generator all the way back to the engine. And the access is fantastic. Now, the face of the coach is in excellent shape. The, the film was removed, so you don't have to worry about that. And there are, that's right, and there are $1,200 headlights that were upgraded. That's right, $1,200 for hella upgraded light bulbs. And around those hella upgraded light bulbs, we've got upgraded LED ambers, and we have upgraded LED lights everywhere on this coach and surrounding those really expensive high-end headlight bulbs, which will blind people if you leave your brights on, they're fantastic. Um, they give it a much more updated look. And the bezels around the headlights up here have been completely refinished in a black, which um, was painted and I think it gives the coach a much better look than the factory chrome. That is a personal preference though. Um, and either way, the face of this bus is in excellent condition. You can nitpick tiny, tiny things, of course, but the face itself is in superb condition. This has a replaced windshield. It was replaced sometime last year. There's a tiny little chip in the bottom of it, but not spreading, and it's just a small little imperfection on an otherwise very clean piece of glass. And all of the windows on this bus have been tinted, um, including a slight tent on the face of the bus. Now, the owner of this coach, who had it for most all of its life, from 6,000 miles up until now, he is a race instructor, races Porsches, all that stuff. So that's why attention to detail was paid on this coach. One of those details are all new shocks. So we've got brand new, um, I think they're Coney suspension, Coney shocks underneath here. Um, brand new shocks, the front airbags were replaced, they were inspected in the rear and the rears did not need to be replaced. Um, the tires were installed in 2020, so the tires are excellent. And all of the seals during the life of this coach, the slide seals, 
the tires, the rubber that made sense. Again, this is a race car instructor who had this car. Aerospace 303 Michelin recommended a rubber, um, it's a rubber protectant, but it's also like a, it's more like a lotion. It moisturizes and replenishes the rubber. This was coated on the coach multiple times a year, all the rubber fittings. So that is the level of attention to detail. And he had all of the airbags ordered for them all to be replaced. But the shop was so honest, they said, look, you don't need to replace the rears. You just need to replace the front. So that's why the front bags are new. I'm excited to drive this coach because I am guessing it's going to drive like a dream, but we'll see on the test drive. Um, it has the K3 chassis, which is the legendary Spartan chassis that's still used in a lot of very high end buses because it's an excellent chassis. And at this point in 2010, it was like light years ahead. But the fact that it still is um, a match for the highest level million dollar coaches nowadays says something about the chassis. Now down below, Look at these hinges, classic American coach with those hinges that just look, they look like bank door vault hinges. But we've got this, it's like a urethane or it's, it looks like a, it feels like a fiberglass, um, but you've got a coating on all these or panels that cover all the compartment surface area. And you have these electric slides. So push a button, it'll go out on either side of the coach. This coach has that, uh, a brand new wind guard in it, connect. So that'll slide right back in. And this coach comes with a lot of extra features. This is not your average used coach. This is one of the best kept coaches you'll find um, as far as what has been done to it and its history and what the coach stands for right now. This is a unique opportunity for someone to buy a bus that I argue is better than new and is factually better than new um, because of the upgrades it had inside and out. This is better than new and it pretty much looks brand new. It was waxed twice a year. Um, the front and rear caps are ceramic coated. Let me tell you, I've seen coaches where you see all these crazy upgrades. This was a very well loved and well used bus by someone who knows a lot about vehicles and mechanics. And that goes a very, very long way in a coach and I think provides a lot more value than if you're just comparing another coach the same year, same make and everything. Now down below, there's still like a couple little dirt places or dirt stains, really not a big deal. We do have the, uh, there are a couple different slide packages or slide tray packages. This is like the highest level one. So you have these two split um, right here and you've got another slide tray on the other side that goes out on the other side. And um, in here, you've got good access to one of your slide motors as well as your Dirt Devil Central VAC back in there. Hinges are quite incredible. Now, this is very unique. This is our wet bay right here. And um, this coach has push button electric dumps. So you can easily dump your coach with the push of a button. And I love the design of this door. So when you open the door, you've got your controls on this part right here, it's very unique, including the outside shower. And why is because when your slide is out, it comes up to about right here. So this just perfectly protrudes from under the slide. And once you get your connections and everything and then open your slide up, all you have to do to dump your black is just come out here and flick a button. You don't even have to go crawling under there. So that was a very nicely thought out design. I don't know why they changed it on the later model coaches. Now in this uh, very useful door, we've got nice little paper towel rack, um, extra fittings right here. Always used a pressure regulator. You know, outside shower, again, very thoughtful. The way they have that, that wired is just, and set up is just very special. And this coach has an upgraded, very nice, basically like a quick disconnect sewer hose. And along with that, we have a very high-end dump hose here. It's like a Rhino hose, but a Rolls-Royce Rhino hose. The dump has its own large outside hand operated valve to dump and then to connect all you do is undo that valve, slide it in and click it in place. It's like a quick disconnect in a way. So this is a very nice upgraded system and there's an extra hose in the coach. Now there's also extra hoses in here for dumping because this coach was flushed regularly. 
Um, so when you go to dump the coach, it's got the quick disconnect setup. We've got this extra hose right here, um, which you can use to spray down the coach. You can also connect it up and flush all your, your tanks. So that was regularly done on this coach. This compartment here houses our Aqua Hot or Aqua Hot. This coach um, has an unlimited hot water system. It's diesel fired. So this Aqua Hot system, it will collect heat from your engine um, and it burns diesel fuel as well as having two electric elements that will heat the coolant. So you can get furnace heat just from electric power using the Aqua Hot um, as well as hot water. And um, like I mentioned, or kind of alluded to, if you drive down the road, and a lot of you are probably familiar, if you drive down the road and you heat up your engine, it will collect that heat and give you hot water just by having the engine on, as well as furnace heat. So this system allows us to not burn any propane. You use the same diesel fuel tank that burns, that everything else uses, the generator and engine. And uh, again, unlimited hot water. I've got a whole coach filtration set up here. And I want to mention before we move on that this coach has an additional 12 volt water pump. So the water pump um, is set up in line with the system. So if you have a pump that goes out on the road, all you do is come out here and flick a switch um, and cut a valve and you've got water pressure from a second and backup water pump. So never will you be stranded without a water pump. That was a really smart design and a nice upgrade that was done to this coach. Now back here we've got, um, got our 50 amp power cable. Reel it in with a, a button of course, just like you'd see on a high end coach. And while we're talking about kind of these bays and things, it's worth noting that we've got this beautiful um, Summit stainless package on the bottom of the coach. Now in the back is where our crown jewel is. We've got the 15 liter 2018 revised ISX producing 650 horsepower and over 2100 pound feet of torque. This is a monster and this is about the fastest 45 foot bus that I've ever seen and experienced. They're quite incredible these engines and it will outrun pretty much all other buses on the road. Now this is of course side radiated and a nice touch here is this beautiful stainless grill. And that stainless grill will come up with that door so you can easily spray out the radiator. Now around back, you're noticing a theme here, I'm sure, the bezels around the taillights were upgraded in addition to brand new LED taillights installed on the coach, giving the rear of the coach that much needed upgrade that brings it back to that timeless 21st century. You can't put a date on this bus. Um, from all angles, you cannot put a date on it. And those taillights are a big contributing factor to the rear of it. The stainless is continued. Um, this is sort of a timeless feature, those stainless bars that you see on the side radiated setup, continued back here. Very stout and tall body style, upright posture, um, and sort of a classic American coach style where you've got that front bald eagle cap and it just levels out to a flat and gives it that sort of a, a flat rear end. It gives it that fast look. Um, it looks like it's moving fast, if you understand what I'm saying. Around our hitch, we do have an air chuck as well as a seven flat pin setup, of course. And um, the stainless exhaust is very nice. And this 650 just runs like a clock. So all around, including around back, and you've probably heard me hammering this in, the bus looks ageless. It does not look like it's age. You cannot place that on this bus because the paint condition itself is so nice on top of all the upgrades that surround it. So up on the roof here, we've got um, a lot of things going on. So of course you see the Gerard awnings on that side, you see the boxes on the other and all the body that builds up and gives it that more proportional look that the newer coaches have that some people prefer. Um, that's a personal preference. But we've got three air conditioners up here that also double as heat pumps. And uh, we're gonna take a close look at a couple things. So our rear fan right here, rear fantastic fan, all the seals are in great shape. Um, we've got a solar panel right here, our wind guard set up so you can have internet service if you connect to a broadband service like AT&T or Verizon, something like that. Um, this is an automatic tracking satellite dish. And then you've got another fantastic fan right here 
and um, some electric components that I'm not sure what they do. They look like they're connected, possibly. Um, it's impossible to know everything. I mean, that's just a fact of life. But slide out toppers are in excellent shape, I have to say. Um, they look great. And, you know, this one doesn't look absolutely brand new, but it's still in good shape. You've got, again, the shrouds look good on these air conditioners. This AC was replaced, so this is a new one right here. Um, all three work great, it'll freeze you out in there. A Little bit of clear coming off on the front cap, and this is really normal on a coach. You can't see it at all from the ground. Um, but this is like, I mean, this is, uh, this is a very cheap fix, right? It just happens to all coaches. Now there's Sirius XM ready. So it's got the set, the little antenna right there. This is a standard local channel antenna right there. So you can pick up local channels and all that good stuff. And again, look at how clean the toppers are. So this coach, it's got, of course, a one piece fiberglass roof that you see everything we've been talking about sitting on. And underneath we've got a steel structure holding up this roof. So a very, very strong framework on this bus. Not your typical pull behind fifth wheel or RV framework. This is one incredible steel held up roof. And of course, it's got the fiberglass capped on it. But um, yeah, and it's caved, it's convex a little bit, right? So it's made to roll off just a little bit. There are drain ports for all the condensation that comes off your AC. So they've got little lines, so it doesn't just drip off the side, but there's still a little curvature in the roof, which I think is very, very wise. That is the roof, very clean. What else to say? So the bus down the patio side, we've got a double Girard awning package, and that package is mounted in the top and it's kind of seamless with the styling, right? So we've got all those boxes built up on both sides of the bus. It gives it that very tall looking coach. But again, with the styling, it has sort of a classic American coach shape. And I absolutely love it with the new modern tall Girard box setup with all that styling. It just goes so well with the American coach. The proportions make a lot of sense to me. Now, the K3 chassis is incredible. Of course, I have polished aluminum wheels all the way around. Um, which look magnificent right along those that summit package there. And down the back, all down this side, we've got new batteries. There are three chassis side batteries in here. Um, they're 12 volt wired and parallel. And there's a bunch of interesting things about this coach. Um, there's nitpicky flaws you can find here and there with a magnifying glass, but um, here is a nice, nice little area. We've got five new AGM batteries, these are lifelines. These are very expensive batteries, about a thousand bucks a piece, no joke batteries. And um, yeah, and yeah, it's just, it's nice to have lifeline AGMs. It's about the best you can go outside of getting ridiculous, which wouldn't make any sense on this coach. But in the compartment right next door to our batteries, we've got our inverter and sort of computer set hub here. So those are just the switch relays for all your buttons in the coach. And up on the top, we've got our two inverters. So one inverter is just for the refrigerator. And then we've got an inverter for everything else, your microwave, TVs, you know, outlets. And uh, again, very nice to have that two twin inverter set up. And it only makes sense because we have those five 8D series Lifeline batteries. The paint on this coach is just exquisite. I mean, looking down the side, it's got this high level of gloss. Um, you can tell that it was just waxed and maintained. Everything is gloss, shiny, perfect. Um, like I said, there's minor little things here and there. This is a 2011, right? But it looks like it's new. I mean, this coach could go in a showroom very easily. Now in here, we've got the other sides of our storage compartments. There's a ton of extra goodies in here. Um, there's covers, there's windshield wipers, there's filters, there's the, the screens for the tires because the tires do have the buttons mounted around them. So you can easily button off your beautiful wheels, aluminum wheels and tires. And um, as mentioned, our Michelin tires were installed in 2020. Yeah, it's a stunning coach. Um, that's the least I can say. Let's go take a peek at the quartz covered countertop interior. Um, I don't know, every time I think of heritage, I think it's quartz countertops. I'm pretty sure they're quartz, but they, they're absolutely beautiful. They have all the sparkle and everything in it. Let's go look at this interior. So this is an exquisite interior. Um, I think hallmarked by a cherry wood that 
you will only see in an American coach as far as how it's styled and how it's been done. And um, the furniture itself is quite nice. There are a lot of tasteful upgrades that cost a pretty penny um, throughout the bus. One of the things you'll notice throughout, of course, is the upgraded LED lights. So every coach in here is upgrade. I mean, every light in here um, has been upgraded to an LED bulb and uh, they look fantastic. They're super bright and they just update the coach a lot. The tile is heated and we'll talk about where the controls are um, for that, but they're multi-zone heated. So you can have that radiant, radiant heat coming through um, and heat that porcelain tile. It's a typical American coach with that shiny porcelain tile. We've got these nice little gray accent pieces within and it looks quite nice. It's all tiled up throughout the cockpit and from the entrance of the steps. And um, speaking of the cockpit, we've got a massive upgraded smart TV here. This is a Samsung TV with an upgraded Sonos bar on top. So if you're not familiar with Sonos, I definitely suggest doing some research. They are one of the top brand manufacturers when it comes to making sound bars and home theater systems. When you have it on in the coach, there's a Wi-Fi system that lets you connect your phone and everything and run everything through it. When you have it on, it makes you feel like it's just an incredible experience. You have to hear it for yourself. Um, but that being said, we've got three Sono bars, not cheap at all. One for this TV, one for the other TV in this living room area, and then one for the bedroom. Now the furniture is made by Villa. Um, these three pieces and the dinette specifically are made by Villa. We've got this beautiful tufted leather on the couch um, and all the Villa pieces. And Villa leather is just um, some of the most high quality stuff you'll see around, just the way they've built it entirely. We've got a pull out air mattress down below here. And back below the couch, across from our two recliners, is a televator. So you click it with this remote. This was upgraded from the original manufacturer. I'm telling you this coach inside and out through and through to its core is a bus that um, has all the great aspects of the old coach plus all the great aspects of the new coach. Now this is another upgraded Samsung smart TV here. And above we've got that Sono sound bar. So great sound system. I mean, it's just incredible the way it makes you feel like you're surrounded better than an actual speaker setup. It's, I don't know what wizardry is going on, but it's quite incredible engineering. But this was professionally done, got that nice piece of quartz that was cut perfectly. And I believe this is quartz. It might be a Corian, but I'm under the impression that this is a quartz um, type material. They've got this huge fat piece of it that swathes behind the couch. And um, it kind of continues all over here in this multi-level center countertop piece, which I just love. And um, speaking of multi-level countertops, we've got more, these are definitely Corian pieces, but they're stone right on top of our wood pieces that are on both sides of the bus here. So parallel to me on the other side, there's the same thing. It's a heat register from our aqua hot furnace system that is housed in the finished out stained cherry wood. And it's kind of a, um, it's kind of an American coach staple, if you will. They've done that for a long time. Um, they put those beautiful wood fixtures all around the heat exchangers and these nice little wood vents. So I just love seeing that. Um, all around the cockpit, there's a lot of things that are very unique. Um, at the same time, we've got things that are similar to other buses. Let's just piece through it for a minute. I mean, obviously you can see from the camera what's going on up here, but um, the styling itself is classic high level American coach, right? We've got that curvature up here, wood, is built around the TV. When you look closely, you can just see it all around here connected in such an elegant way. And with these leather pieces right underneath, it's all finished out quite well. And the cherry is so tasteful. Another thing that is unique is, of course, we've got these little pieces or areas up top where you can have a display. So you can put whatever you like up here and really make this a more unique place. And then specific to this bus, all these glass pieces up here are tented. And I, I can't say enough um, about the tenting because it's so nice. 
Um, it's so nice. All the windows in the bus are tinted and the most important ones are up here in the cockpit. And every single shade, all, we have all electric shades in this bus. They're all up right now. And even with it on a hot day, I've only got two of our three ACs running and they're both on low. And I was cold actually for a minute, so I turned them up. They're very quiet and the tenting lets you enjoy a lot of that view out and the natural light in, but not where you're letting a lot of heat or it's just too bright, like what typically happens with a perfectly clear front setup. But uh, let's go on. So quickly, these right here, these are about $2,500. They are full electric. Um, and I'm sorry, one of those detectors needs a battery. That's what that little beep is. I'm sure all of you probably know that, but just in case if it's driving you crazy. But anyways, these are electric recliners. Um, we're installed brand new. And as you can see, they're quite nice. They're very sleek. And with that upgraded televator on the other side, this is the floor plan that a lot of people love. Um, back behind this window, so there's so much to talk about in this interior. Um, you noticed it already on the other side, so I'll just use this side to talk about it more specifically. We've got these beautiful wood pieces that accent all the windows, and they look so nice, um, partially because they're just finished with this nice Alcantara as the trim around it. So it's mostly cherry wood. On the other side, we've got Corian or quartz countertop. And then here we've got the solid stained cherry wood um, on this side. So all the windows are trimmed in an elegant way. And the Alcantara is even continued over here on the side. So I'm just trying to find little tangible ways I can paint the picture that this interior, all those very nicely thought out details that were executed in a high craftsmanship level, um, if that sentence makes any sense, they all come together in your brain and they create an experience. But then on top of that, as you use the bus, you'll of course enjoy everything more specifically. So here in the kitchen space, we have a pretty sizable amount of countertop space. There are dual sinks right here or sink covers. So we've got this huge sink, right? Massive sink. And you can easily split it off if you like. So you can add some countertop space there. We've got this nice faucet right here, um, quite elegant. Got this nice little stainless soap dispenser. And over in this corner, we have a dual zoned flat top Gen Air. So you've got a nice little flat top stove here. All around, of course, you can see we've got a nice backsplash. Up above, there's an Advantum uh, microwave slash convection oven. And I love these little pieces of glass that you have on a couple of them. But you can see the craftsman work in it, right? They actually melted this metal and sat there and did that. And there's a lot of glass pieces in the coach. And uh, you've got two right here. So there's cabinet space all back here, um, LED lights all up underneath, and a uh, bunch of storage up above here. I'm sure you could see that. So ton of storage down below. Nice little trash can. There's the other side of our cover for the sink and uh, just a large amount of carpeted space down here, like the little trash can. Got some deep drawers over on the right. Oh, I like that. That's very nice. Look how deep that is. Deep in both ways, deep down and deep as far as how far it goes back. I think this will pop out. Yep, love that. So right there, you can kind of see the LED lights, the accent lights. It does have the LED accent light package. So just like you'll see in Liberty Coach or something, it's got those LED lights up underneath and accenting everywhere. And um, it looks quite nice. They change colors or you can have them keep stay on one color. So right over here on the left, we've got our dishwasher in a drawer. It's a Fisher and Paykel and it's got the lock. So you can lock it to store it while going down the road. So that's a nice addition right there. And to the left, we have our Whirlpool Gold household refrigerator, built-in filtered water, ice maker, all that good stuff. Um, it's nice having a very large refrigerator. Check out the ice right there, fresh ice. To the left of the refrigerator, we have a massive storage compartment, which you could use as a pantry if you'd like. We have some free of charge Jif, slightly used Jif peanut butter that comes with the coach, uh, or we can take it out, it's totally up to you. And uh, on the left, we've just got a bunch of extra manuals and stuff for the coach and uh, our microwave plate. But that is huge. Oh, I love these lights. You got those upgraded LED lights over there. So you can really see wired straight in. No batteries will have to be changed on these. Wired very well, very sleek. Two massive drawers down the bottom. Holy cow, look at those. Those are huge. 
So they did well, they did well. You know, sometimes American Coach will give you about average storage space, but this one definitely, they, uh, they stepped it up here. They stepped it up. Here is our central command center. So automatic Gen Star heated tile control, our Aqua Hot unlimited hot water system with the dual um, high and low electric elements. So there's two elements in there. It gives you significant hot water, even on electric, but unlimited hot water if you want to run the bar burner. Down below, we've got our three zoned air conditioning control everything through there furnace all that good stuff um, to the right we've got a key and a button for our main full wall slide up above we've got our uh, opposing passenger side front slide button um, with a little reminder to move the captain's chairs forward a surge guard that's a built-in surge protector um, that's from the satellite you've got uh, these nice little 12 volt car ports just extra ones sense of tank um, this right here is your central command, so you can see what's going on as far as your power loads. Um, everything kind of can be broken down from there. Um, this system, the way the inverters are set up, it will very much try to not let you trip. It'll shed loads, it'll turn down the um, charging amperage. It's a very smart system, um, but as far as the system's not overly complicated as far as like a high-end Prevo bus, right? So this is why this is a sweet bus. It's not something super crazy. You have everything, you have all the nice stuff you want. Um, in a very straightforward and well-built way. But uh, anyways, two inverter controls right there, blah, blah, blah. Um, I could talk about more things in here. There's a little bit of storage um, here. Breakers right here, that's one panel for breakers. Main breakers as far as the air conditioner, stuff like that. And right down there is where your central vacuum connection is. So you can plug right in and vacuum the coach out with ease. And um, here is our dining space. Now underneath there are these little extra pieces quite nice they go if you want to have like an eating tray while you're eating or something like that with the recliners but this um, setup here is quite nice there's a small little crack in this uh, countertop right here but it doesn't go all the way through um, and it's not that big of a deal the I believe the um, foam in these villa couches sitting here at the dinette have been replaced and uh, the windows are very nice on this slide out I absolutely love it your patio side slide is filled with massive windows with this just stunning and elegant accent and trim work pieces um, that just goes such a long way for the bus. Okay, let's go ahead and step into, there's that soldering accent, you know, the metal, I love that. Anyways, let's go step back into the rest of the coach. So we have our half bath right here, and this is a deep half bath. It starts out um, like a regular half bath, but then it goes pretty deep in here. We've got a porcelain toilet and um, decent amount of storage, multi-leveled countertop space. Storage back here. That button right there is for your front Gerard awning. And uh, again, the wood is very nice. Wood trim around the fantastic fan. We've got an electric fan up there. Um, large countertop space, you know? This is quite tasteful because a lot of times you're gonna have guests up in the front. So it's nice to be able to have extra countertop space, including a little um, side piece over there on the left. Now down below there's storage, um, of course, extra storage. There is a heat exchanger just for in here and I believe, yep, they give you a button. So when you're running your furnace, there's a specific button for a heater just in here. And as you know, there's a lot of people that enjoy having a heater in the bathroom, especially in the cold mornings. Um, that in addition to the heated tile will make you very comfortable. Now back here we have our master suite. We've got a king um, sleep number mattress here, his and her. Um, just an elegant setup. Again, I can't speak enough about the wood, all the trim pieces, all that good stuff. Just an elegant and relaxing stateroom back here. Um, again, the accent lights are continued. We've got that similar Alcantara wood trim pieces going on in the ceiling, this time with a um, electric fan. So that's quite nice, right? Now there's a screen to peer into all your systems as well as your cameras from the bedroom. You can also of course control your stuff like your generator, all that good stuff, play the radio back here. But why play the radio through those speakers? Um, I don't even think, yeah, it's got like speakers connected to the radio, right? Screw that, use your Sono sound bar. We've got an upgraded Sono sound bar back here. Um, these are fantastic. Again, I implore you to go look, up, look them up if you're not familiar. Upgraded smart Samsung TV accent lights trimming down there and just look at that woodwork it's so elegant right i'm sorry for talking too much about the wood but it's just such a big facet of a bus now over here we've got 
a um, storage piece and they did it to give you this beautiful glass again nice wardrobe space um built-in ward oh, this is not a wardrobe but built-in little slider here just all very nice and i love these led lights they give you nice lighting here look at all the drawers it's a ton of drawers um ton of drawers and i think this is just space right yeah that's just extra space outlets down there as well um space here you can add players if you want the sonos bar again the smart tv this is the way to go upgraded tvs are just so nice oh look at this just an elegant very proud mirror right covered and surrounded by this beautiful cherry wood gives you a different feeling as you're walking through here i have to say i love the a tasteful use of mirrors and no one's better at doing a tasteful use of mirrors than american coach now here is our master bathroom. So that is a engine cover and it made it look quite elegant by trimming it with all this nice tiling, this brick around there and it looks very nice. You don't even think about it as an engine cover. It's pretty flush. There's none of those little things you can catch your toe in. And um, up there's a small little crack in one of the tiles, by the way, just want to point that out. Very minor flaw. Um, anyways, so up here we've got this nice countertop space here. Um, typical, you know, it's funny, our personal American Eagle um, which Mr. Larry Oakley, shout out to Larry Oakley, um, owns right now. He has upgraded the heck out of it since we had it. But our design and floor plan was just like this. We had the countertop space like this, this abundance. And I always love this, right? When I came to brush my teeth in the morning or whatever, um, I usually go here in the back, in the front. And coming back here, I just was always amused and intrigued by the crazy number of random counter um, mirror cupboard like medicine cabinet type space. Like it's just crazy and it's such a unique setup. Now one thing we didn't have in our Eagle is this extra little Corian made out of, it's piping made out of Corian or like it's just a beautiful little piece, a trim piece that goes around. We didn't have these LED accent lights, of course, this coarse countertop with the sparkle. Um, anyways, all this is solid wood, quite nice, ton of space, but a nice slide out hamper. Look at that fellow. That's awesome. Buckle them back in. Ton of space. Just a plethora of space. Free microfiber. Comes free charge. Got a heat exchanger from our heater. And then over here on the left, we have more wardrobe space. Oh, those are just high quality feeling sliders. Cedar lined wardrobe space back here with a safe on the right. And we have the keys. Um, as well as another button for our rear Girard original spec sheet and um, accessible from both sides. So this is just a, a very slick extra wardrobe space. All the solid wood feels feel very nice. Nice window letting in a ton of natural light. And um, that's an emergency exit. So it'll pop out and give you extra space if you wanna dive out of here. You really don't have to dive out of those, but anyways. Um, here is our shower. And this is a beautiful shower. Nice, subtle gray tiling on the bottom. Um, just a ton of stuff going on. I love the variants and the tile work. I love the glass. I love the stainless trim. We've got a nice amount of light with a slightly, I can see through, so I can see a shadow of that tree and a good bit of natural light coming through. This is a beautiful shower. Um, we also have two points, so built-in fixture and then the point, like the hand holding a phone, right? So you can grab it. So uh, that's nice. And this is a funny addition. You know, the later model heritage is they stopped this for a couple of years anyways, or different floor plans. They didn't have anything for a shower rack or like soap rack, right? Here we've got a built-in um, Corian soap holder. So again, that, some of the models of American Coach didn't have that. That's very nice. It drives you crazy if you don't have that. Nice lock right there. Make sure it's not going anywhere. Um, typical little Corian uh, piece that covers the rear vent to let air conditioning through. And here is our washer dryer stack. Close that up. And that will conclude the tour of this bus. Um, you know, there's a lot of details and things to talk about on a coach like this, but I think you kind of should see the picture. Like I was mentioning before, unless it got cut out, but this is really just the tip of the iceberg. A bus like this has a ton to offer and just the, from the craftsmanship to the previous ownership being so meticulous, when you have both of those combined, it's just exquisite. And then combine that with some of the most leading technology in the industry, 650 Cummins, 2018 revision, 
um, all the upgrades throughout the coach, underneath, the maintenance. This is an incredible bus, and I'm very excited to go get it on the road because I am sure this is going to drive like a tank. I'm very excited for it, as you can probably tell. Let's go drive it. So the cockpit of this bus is uh, quite nice, quite nice. We're going to cover everything in here real quick. Um, to begin with, over on the left, we've got our hydraulic slash air leveling control right there. You can manually do it if you'd like. That is our control for the rear audio. So uh, I love how they give you this dedicated controller for it. It's kind of cool. This is for the silver leaf control right here. So this bus is equipped with a silver leaf, as I mentioned. All the tire pressure sensors are coming through it. All kinds of interesting information. Um, and that control is right there. Now, this is a control for our 4000 series allison transmission you press mode if you want to stick and uh force it to go only up to a certain gear right so if you want it to only go up to fourth or third or second or whatever or fifth or six i mean six is everything that's regular drive um you can limit it that way so it won't um you know shift in and out but really you don't have to have that you really don't have to deal with that um this application of this allison transmission it is in retirement mode <laughs> Now up here, we've got uh, all kinds of interesting buttons. So first, electric shades. We've got driver sets, right, for the steering wheel because this is all fully electric controlled. The seat, the pedals, all that stuff. So we've got two driver controls, uh, presets. Um, rear cam, so I love this, right? This is just such a nice button because you can force the camera to rest on a certain um, camera. You can force the, the screen, I mean, to rest on a certain camera out of your three. So that is just straight up and convenient automatic traction control button air horn on and off engine brake on and off and then you've got mid high low and the exhaust brake is phenomenal on these big isx's electric window control heated mirror um, electric mirror control we do have a three stack mirror which is just epic um, on a bus um, you know we've got headlight controls all that good stuff Smart wheel, standard setup, flash the headlights, flash the taillights, control the windshield wipers, set cruise control, control the exact time in between windshield wiper pulses if you want. Got our air gauges, temp, oil pressure, all the standard gauges. I love how they give us um, unique feeling thermostat control, right? Um, because, you know, a lot of times RVs, they just stick stuff from GM products or whatever, which is fine. But this just looks so much cooler and just part of the... Um, atmosphere here two screens right here this is the radio but they both can show um your cameras if you'd like which i think is quite nice um, all the brand new buses finally figured that out that you need two screens for operating things so you can keep a camera resting on your toe behind or whatever um silver leaf comes up top coach lights you've got under lights docking lights um this is like a there's light inside the coach and i think there's a light up under the in the generator those are what those switches control now the radio this is so you can have radio power while parked so right now you see the ignition is off and all of a sudden we just powered up everything um so we've got our silver leaf which now controlling with that little thing we just talked about a second ago i can go through everything i can look at my cameras and i can do this from the bedroom too which is really nice so you see that's the switch now i'm switching between camera feeds I love that. That is awesome. You can even see your door. So if you're in bed, you can see who's knocking at your door. Bluetooth, radio, all that good stuff. Now over here, we've got um, generator hours, southeast, you know, little things like that. Just a little compass. And there's dedicated controls for the passenger too. I love that. So we've got uh, dual zone climate control in the bus, which is just smart because it's pretty likely you're going to have a different um, ideal temperature than whoever's sitting in your passenger seat just saying uh, over here for the passenger we've got a nice Corian countertop with the cup holder usb ports as well as standard outlets um all that good stuff there's a, a step cover that will come over there so if you want to cover it up and just create a flat surface all up in here you certainly can do that um, over here we've got just storage like the little countertop space there there's of course a cup holder over on the left and then we've got a drawer space here and then we've got uh, more space right here, as well as controls for our lights. I love how there's an all lights, right? This is just fantastic. Entry ceiling. So these are really good map lights. Um, in addition to your dedicated map lights, um, if, if you will. All the shade controls. Um, again, nice to have up here. And uh, just a very well laid out cockpit with uh, some unique things like the thermostat control 
And um, yeah, it's just very nice. These seats are just fantastic too. I mean, you've got pleated American heritage, big villa cockpit seats. Hard to beat that especially with the 650 Cummins and the K3. Really hard to beat that, but I mean, you know, it all comes together in a beautiful way on this All game. right, so we're heading out to do a test drive in this, um, and I'm quite excited. I've been, uh, been very thrilled and excited to get to drive this bus. So that's pretty unique. You can make quick adjustments if you need to. The steering is definitely that American coach. We've got a lot going on in the center. I would put this as far as the heat level, as far as how sensitive the steering is. For an American coach, it's medium. For an average coach, definitely a more sensitive uh, steering than you, you'd be used to. And there's a lot of science behind that technology. I'm not gonna act like I know, but I can just tell you how it feels from my perspective driving it. The quality of ride is top notch. And both Kaya and I, um, agree on that. It's very calm. It's very subdued as it just floats down the road. And surprisingly, even Kaya reacted to the 650 Cummins. Normally, I'm over here being thrilled by the power because I'm just infatuated by any big diesel. But this 650 Cummins, it was thrilling, of course, for me. And Kaya even commented on, wow, that, that thing moves because it's no joke of an engine. It absolutely plows this coach forward. So here I am after a couple moments, I have gotten a little bit more used to the coach and the chassis. It's a very calm riding coach. And what can I say? It's a big tag axle bus K3 chassis and one that has been so expertly tuned and take care, taken care of that the ride quality is so calm from my perspective. And then the power and the exhaust brake are just fantastic. Another thing I really like are the tented windows up here. The view out of the cockpit is just superb. Um, you know, it's, it's quite calm. I don't, need to, I don't feel the need to wear my sunglasses or anything. And I can just hang out here on the highway. I'm gonna set cruise and we're gonna just hang out here because that's really what this coach is made to do and that's what a good bus should be able to do. Yes, um, it has incredible power and that's gonna come in big handy if you're towing. Um, you know, it's just a, there's nothing like it power to weight ratio wise, so that's a lot of fun. But we also have a very interesting chassis that they're still using in very, very expensive high level coaches um, that are much, much newer to this coach. So at the time, 2011, K3 chassis is really nice. And all these American coaches came with what's called the Liberty chassis from American coach. So they build all this additional framework made out of steel all around the cockpit and the coach. So it adds rigidity to the general framework of the bus itself and coach. Um, and it also gives you just more protection in case of a wreck or something. So that's a big factor. The quietness of the ride is excellent. You know, it's not absolutely perfect. No RV, rarely are RVs perfect. And the steering is excellent. You know, I also like knowing that we've got that Tryon system up in the front of our tires, right? So we've got those bands um, on the tires in case of a blowout, we will have significantly better control of the bus. So that is a huge peace of mind thing. And, um, just a really nice upgrade to have on a bus, on any bus, any RV. So here I am coming into this lane here, and I'm just gonna leave cruise control. I was tempted to floor it, but I'm just gonna enjoy the bus because it wants to be calm. It wants to just sit here and do its thing, you know? Pay attention long distance, typical bus stuff, keep your eyes up. That tented window just keeps the keeps me relaxed, keep my eye re eyes relaxed. I've got that nice wood grain to grip if I want. And the smart wheel is nice, right? So I can just easily adjust the steering wheel, adjust the pedals, do all that stuff while I'm driving. Because a lot of times you kind of want to move around if you're setting for some hours or something. Let me use my power a little bit to get a little more distance as I make this lane change. And the 4000 Allison is just butter smooth you know that's another big part of the drivetrain experience is when you get on it every time it shifts in and out of gears it's so smooth it's such a capable transmission that 
And honestly, in this setup, it's a relaxed setup, okay? There's a lot of Allisons out there doing some big time weight um, and torque. So this Allison is, uh, oh, that was my bottle over there. This Allison is just hanging out and living a retired RV life. <laughs> um, and it shifts perfectly. I mean, you got a lot of life in these things. There are Allisons out there, 4,000s with a lot of miles on them. 126,000 miles is about just broken in. Um, although remember that ISX only has 30,000 miles on it. So great driving experience. I will say, let me continue trying to make meaningful comments. The way the mirrors are set up are quite superb. So we've got the triple stack, I like to call them that, um, mirrors and they're European bus style or the overhang bus style, whatever you want to call it. So you get a great angle of what's going on on both sides of the coach. They're positioned perfectly for each side. On the right side, I've got, um, you know, both sides got three mirrors and they just give you an excellent view going down the road. The magnification is nice and the positioning is great. They're so big too. They're really big mirrors. I mean, even for RV mirrors, they're big. Mirrors are an important facet of any bus driving experience. Again, I, the tent is a subtle but huge upgrade and the bus is so calm. I can't get over that. You know, it's just, we're just hanging out on the highway. I could be doing this at speeds much, much faster. Let me tell you, um, even the K2 chassis were capable of high speeds. This is a bus that's more than capable of very high speeds if you wanted to do that. But right now I'm doing in the 60s and I'm hanging out. Most times I'm driving a bus on my trips, I'm in the 60s miles per hour. I used to drive very fast and some buses are very capable. I grew up camping in Eagles. so. K2 chassis were capable, you know, especially with the 500 Cummins. This with the 650 and the K3 is, my gosh. This particular model is uh, quite special because of its history, because of its upgrades, uh, because of its condition. This is not your average American heritage of the time. And like I said, with that 2018 650 in the back, Hard to compete with this. I mean, where else are you gonna find? Look, I implore you to go look in this price range because there's nothing more imploring than this. That's a bold statement, but if you're looking for a 45 foot high level diesel, I'm sorry, this is, this is a rock. This is a rock star right here. But um, anyways, enough being said. If you disagree with that, come on out and meet this thing on the highway. So I think, I have uh, worn my voice out. There's a lot to be said about this coach because it's quite a gem and whoever gets this is getting one heck of a bus. This is a deal, uh, a very good deal. There's nothing else I think you can find out there that has comparable um, stats on pretty much all the levels combined or just when you're looking at the coach, if you're looking at a big 45 foot. This is the best deal on market, 2018 650. Let's go. Um, K3 chassis, yes please. All the upgrades it has, yes please. Ah, and it's an e it's an American coach. It's a heritage. It's a legendary heritage. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up. Save my voice. Hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you next time. If you're interested in the bus, I don't blame you. Uh, please reach out to me or my dad. We'd love to talk more about this coach. We can even FaceTime, video chat, all that good stuff. Let's do it. Love to talk to you, look forward to it. Um, have a great evening or day or morning and uh, really appreciate watching the videos. Please like and subscribe, it helps us a lot. If you've been watching for a while, thank you so much to the original subscribers. Y'all mean a lot to us. We've had a couple customers um, or actually a, a good number of customers who have been watching the channel for some years and finally bought a coach. And um, let me tell you, those people are, uh, those are very meaningful people to us. And you know, obviously we're in this business to make money, but we also really enjoy our customers and meeting all the fantastic people out there. So one day we're gonna do an RV Max get together with all the uh, customers, get all the customers together, can meet each other. I think it'd be good. Camping's a lot of fun. Anyways, this is a special bus, please call me. Please text us.